Young people all across America will, as many describe it, march for their lives to call for change in school safety and in gun laws in this country. And tonight we hear from four of Atlanta's civil rights warriors who know firsthand how powerful marches can be about what they believe Saturday's impact will be. Here's John Shearick. What is it about a march that can change a nation? What is it about a crowd walking, chanting, singing, praying that can change minds, hearts, attitudes, laws. I'm just fascinated to see what they do. Andrew Young, who marched and campaigned with Dr. King, is in awe of high school students now, planning their peaceful profession of faith in collective political and moral strength on Saturday, telling the nation, we are legion. We demand safe schools and changes in gun laws. Dr. King always said that unearned suffering is redemptive. And I said, these young people in Parkland have been the victims of tremendous suffering, which they did not earn. But they are about to continue Dr. King's work of redeeming the soul of America. And their classmates are going to see to that. It was always the young people that made the biggest difference, that made the sacrifice. Elizabeth yeah. Williams Omalami, the daughter of Dr. King's top agitator for change, Hosea Williams, sees in today's young people the passion, the insight to know that they are not just leading marches for a day, they are leading a movement that will last a generation. A movement has a beginning and then you stick with it. You stay with it until that particular issue is resolved. So how long are they gonna stay with this? I think they will be there. But I wanna make sure, I, I wonder do they have the right leadership to, to really make uh, the change that they need to make. Insight, wisdom, advice, and hope. I would encourage them to not give up. These brave, smart children, they will lead the way. Coming up at 6, John Shirick, 11 Alive News. And a reminder that we will be live streaming the March for Our Lives rallies in Atlanta and Washington, D.C. on our Facebook page. It will begin at 11 a.m. on Saturday with an on-air special then at noon. Christy Etheridge of 11 Alive will be in D.C. following the protesters and their call for change.